Tonto Tuesday Shop Talk, everybody. I hope I get a chance to throw knives today. It's getting a little bit late in the afternoon. Today's carry. It's not a Tonto. I carry this every day. I went light today at work. This is my Spyderco. Tenacious, partial serrated, micarta scales. Custom micarta scales. Okay. I just uh, I got home. I did get my uh, slabs that I ordered yesterday. And here they are. It's going to be... See if I can take it out of the package for you. This is not Tonto related either. But these are uh, G10 scales. It's hunter orange and black. So, what, that, that doesn't mean it's going to be like this. Y'all see me shave them down, and it'll, it'll darken up. But this is what I'm going to put on this uh, really budget-friendly old-timer. I had bought this. I mentioned yesterday I had bought this to throw. Nice leather sheath. I think this ran like 19 bucks at Ace. And I'm going to be putting uh, these scales on there. And that should be fairly easy. So that's what that's for. So I ordered these yesterday. And it was at my door when I got home. Pretty cool, huh? Now, last night I kept looking at... This is the, uh, the Raven. I made a mistake yesterday. I kept calling it the Savage. This is the BPS Raven. It's not Tonto. I'm getting to my point. Excuse me. But this kept looking familiar. The, the silver, the stainless uh, hardware. Okay. Now I got the BPS screws in there. But it reminded me. I got a box of them. If y'all remember. I got the screws. And I used these on the K-Bar Becker. That's what that reminded me of. So, very simple fix. This weekend, then I'll change it up, and I'll, of course, save the screws for the BPS uh, knife. But I'm going to change these out. I'll recess it, the hole, so that I can put this type of hardware on there. And I think that'd be kind of awesome because it will really go with that sheath. You know what I'm saying? That's the BPS Raven. Those are upcoming projects. Pretty simple. I uh, won't be getting into any folders. That's that box of the hardware I got. So, that should work. I should be able to find the right link. Okay. Today's, uh, I brought this out here. I can't help it. I still haven't got the time to. This is that C CDS uh, Kelty Barrel. Uh, I wanted to get to water bottle slicing and I'm not going to make it today, but I carry it back here. Love this thing. All right. So I got a modern take of a Tonto. This is the Rake. Uh, this is the Rake P138 and it's the Sandvik 14C 28 inch steel. It's Tonto blade. This is probably one of the most modern scales, uh, futuristic, futuristic, that's what I want to say. It's a fantastic knife. It has a, at least spring lock right here. You push that up and it's in the lock position. I got medium hands. You see how that holds in my hand. Beautiful satin finish, very smooth. Rake's very, very known for their uh, action, just smooth action. Fantastic knife. I got this at my uh, local Ace Hardware, I, and after I got this, I bought a few more rakes. The rake knife is a fantastic knife. They also make fixed blades, which I don't have one yet. I've been looking at one. It's on my wish list. But that is the rake Tonto, uh, what did I say it was? Uh, P138. I need to start wearing my new glasses. Okay, so that's uh, in the folder section. And then I pulled this out. Uh, our friend and blade brother, uh, Isaac Knives and Knowledge, uh, I put his uh, channel in my descriptions. Uh, he did a uh, video on this uh, Aegis, this SOG Aegis. 
Now, I believe he had the, uh, the uh, clip point. This assisted. In fact, notes. Okay, I will tell you, it is Aus 8 steel with a black tinny finish. Partial serrated. Look at that Tonto blade. These are GRN scales with a digi camo finish. True deep pocket carry. All right, you got your safety lock right here because it is assisted. Red means ready to fire. Okay, and here is your piston lock right here. And it's thumb stud. And there's your piston lock to do it that way. You got jipping up here. It is closed in. Nice action. It has a uh, like rubberized uh, inserts right here. It feels rubber anyway. But this is in my collection. I don't use it. These are getting harder to find. I was checking for the info on it and uh, everywhere I looked, it was uh, not available. So if you come across one, I think the, uh, like like Isaac, I agree with him. Uh, I think the old Aegis right here is so much better than the uh, newer Aegis. Only because of, uh, well, the blade on the new Aegis is shorter. Uh, they did improve on these locks, but this is doable. Feels great in the hand. Looks sharp too. Look at that Tonto blade. So I'll probably do a short video on that. Very nice snappy, quick action, great knife. That's the SOG Aegis Tonto assisted knife. All right, now fixed blades. I've shown these, I only got them out here because I'm gonna throw one of them or I'm gonna do a rerun on one of them. I might have to do a rerun on them. But here's the K-Bar Tonto. Partial serrated. This is the Tonto fixed blade knife. It's also called the uh, fighting knife. This is large. I've thrown this several times. In fact, look how sharp that is. You can see I've used it and thrown it. It's got the Krayton handle. It's got that 1095 steel, black finish. great knife very large and here's this little brother and I've thrown this quite a bit so I might do if I do I'm gonna throw one of these or do a rerun I use this uh, I took this to work quite a few times this is partial serrated same specs it's just a, a smaller version isn't that cool and like I said I carried I carried this at work for a while it's just a great knife for work uh it's got the nylon belt loop it straps in and it's uh it's not intimidating at all you know what i mean both of these are super well balanced are excellent balance i love throwing them both so if i don't get to throwing them i'll try and find the rerun uh video and post them up you know what I'm saying? All right, guys. This is uh, Tonto Tuesday Shop Talk. Y'all take care and sog out.